grin. I wish I could be there in person, but this is the next best thing. Um, three words that describe Wren. And I think of those three words and I think of optimism, I think of true passion, and those are two words, and I think of thoughtfulness. Wren displays all three. And you combine that with the energy and charisma that he brings to any task uh, set before him. And I think you find a winner. Wren is, fits in almost anywhere, and yet he remains uniquely himself. He goes to the mainland, and he fits in with the mainland. But he is so Hawaii at the same time. And he sounds a little bit like Hawaii. I think mainly because he's never forgotten that aloha culture, the aloha feeling, which is exactly what we need for, you know, for people who go into the hospitality industry. I think Ren's greatest asset is his ability to sell. And I'll give you an example of his uh, uh, ability to sell anything to anyone. He moved to Los Angeles where he put an ice skating rink on top of his swimming pool. And not only did he sell it to the local residents around LA, but certainly based on the press he received and the following awards, it was known across the country as the place to chill in Los Angeles. He has uh, been also a terrific salesman for the University of Hawaii. I was just speaking with one of his colleagues and a fellow alumni, Ryan Lasky, who told me that Wren talked him into going on the board and that no one led that board like Wren did with such passion, commitment, and charisma. And certainly coming from Ryan, I think that is a high level of compliment. There are only two kinds of students that deans ever see, right? The ones that are very bad and the ones that are very good. And he felt in that kind of, and my first impression with him about Ren was, uh, you know, it's hard to draw an exact conclusion because you don't really know what these students are going to be. But he was quiet. But there was this air of quiet confidence about him. And you knew that uh, whenever he discussing it with you, it was with a great deal of sincerity. And if he didn't know, he was never afraid to say that he didn't, and he would ask questions, he would ask advice. And I think today, uh, a lot of professors have problems because students don't really want advice. And, but if you don't ask for it, professors are also, and deans are very reluctant to give it. So, but, but Ren was one of the people who was not afraid to ask for advice, and to find out how he was doing, how things were going with, it, with his projects. And so I just recall those things about him. Ren is a man of ideas, he's a man of passion, creativity, and action. And I can see that that's the reason he's been honored here tonight by the University of Hawaii, because you have to have all of those capabilities to be a distinguished alumni. You know, the question of legacy is one that's raised to uh, schools, to deans, directors, to faculty. And the legacy is always about the people that we educate, train, provide for, you know, for their professions. So similarly, that is Ren's legacy. Ours is a people industry. Travel industry is all about people. People serving people. Rich Carlton always says, well, we're a company of ladies and gentlemen serving ladies and gentlemen, meaning you're not beneath anybody. You're the same as they are, but you provide a service. Ren's legacy is all the people he has mentored and all of the future general managers he will produce in his time uh, with his co company. I'm so honored to receive the University of Hawaii Distinguished Alumni Award. I would like to thank the university as well as the Alumni Association. I also like to thank the faculty and staff of the School of Travel Industry Management who provided me such a fantastic educational foundation. I'd also like to thank Regent Chuck G, who was also the Dean of the Tim School when I was a student there. I'd also like to thank Starwood Hotels and Resorts for all of their support that they have given me throughout my 34 years at the company. There's Ernest Nishizaki who hired me back in 1981 at the Sheraton Maui. Ernest Nishizaki is also a Tim alumni as well as a previous Distinguished Alumni awardee. 
Uh, he provided me that opportunity during my internships to be a junior social host, which I look back now is was the origins of our Keiki Aloha program. You know, there's Harris Chan, who's the regional vice president here in Hawaii and French Polynesia, who I had the pleasure of working with for the past four years. I'd be remiss in not thanking the Tim International, the Alumni Association, for this, for the nomination of, for my award this evening. My special appreciation goes to my family and friends. And those that know me very well, my friends are so dear to me. And many of them I've gone to college with. We've also dormed together back in Lokelani and Wainani, and I'm still very, very close to them. To my family, to my brother Rowan and my sister-in-law Lisa, thank you very much for all your support. To my mom and dad, and it's just words cannot express how much I appreciate all that you have done for me. You know, some people have always asked me, you know, what inspired me uh, to get involved with the Alumni Association. It goes back to Ernest Nishizaki, who 15 years ago said, Rand, it's about time that you give back to the university. And that's when I became a board of director for the Tim Alumni Association, and later being on the UH Alumni Association and president of the association. It is about giving back, and giving back is more than some people may think it's on a financial, but it's, no, it's more than that. It's about things such as mentoring students. It's about having student organizations come to your business and see what you do. It's about going to the university and speaking at their classes. It's all about that that makes it even special. You know, it's about providing work opportunity. I remember when I moved to the W in Los Angeles and there were some alumni that wanted to work on the mainland. And I brought them along and they worked with me there. And then when I moved to Scottsdale, they all wanted greater opportunities and they moved here also. And throughout the years, it's all about helping people, helping alumni, and helping everybody in your community. And that's why I ask to all of you out there in the audience, I know many of you do give back to the university. And for those that want to do more, I ask that you do that also. And once again, thank you very much for this prestigious award. I'm so honored. Mahalo nui loa.